Okay, well, uh, let's uh, quickly talk about commodities and see what the headlines are like over there. Manisha today is focusing on gold. Manisha, tell us more. Well, I'm looking at the gold prices where we have seen some profit taking coming in after hitting a high of around $2,040 an ounce and hitting an all-time high in the Indian markets. We have seen prices soften down so much so that 2000 also has broken on the weaker side here. In the overnight markets, we've seen strength in US dollar. The treasuries also have firmed and that seems to be weighing on. And then the BIS says that there is an expectation that the rate hikes will stay higher for a longer period of time because inflation is still a concern and the economic data uneven. And also the rate hike expected not just from the U.S. Fed but from ECB as well is weighing on to the markets right now. And then you need to watch out on the CFTC data that shows for silver to begin with that the longs are still on the higher side at 42,000 contracts. Shorts holding just about 24,000 contracts here. So there are people who are staying in the long here. Take a look at gold and you will see a big contrast here because the longs are at 135,000 contracts while the shorts are just at 30,000 contracts. Contracts. So there is a lesser chance of more buying or more longs being created in gold. So we are looking at a near-term top perhaps coming in for the gold prices with expectation that you could be looking at a correction first before we see the next upsurge coming in for this commodity. Thank you very much for that, Manisha. Interesting there. We need to slip into a very short break. On the other side, credit card monthly spends for the month of March are at the highest.